In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up some simple business cards inside of Microsoft Publisher 2016. All right, so first let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Uh, the first one we're going to set up is just to create basically a text box that's going to end up printing on a colored cardstock, but we want to set this up so we don't have to do a lot of work. We just want to be able to set up one card and have it print multiple up per page. And then the next thing that we're going to take a look at, and I might do this in two parts, I might make this in part two, um, we're going to take a look at how to get a beautiful full bleed design where the color actually runs right to the edge of the card. That setup is quite a bit different than what you're going to do for something like this. Alright, so let's dive right in. And the first thing that I always do is start out with a blank publisher page. Now you could go in and uh, look at cards and find a card template, but what I've found is 90% of the time those things are not set up correctly and they're not going to print the way that I'm going to show you how to do this. So just click on a blank page size and then we're going to go over to the page design tab, click on size, go all the way down to page setup and now we're going to go ahead and punch in the dimensions for the card. So we're working with a letter size page and you're going to see that as we punch in the card size, so cards are 3.5 wide by 2 high, notice that it's updating how many are going to show up on the page as we're doing it over here. Uh, we can do 0.125 for the margins around these business cards and I'm just copying and pasting those uh, in so as I copy it I press control C and then when I paste it control V alright next we want to jump over to uh, this side margin this is the white area that's showing up over here and the top needs to be set to 0.5 I believe yes anyway uh, let's see 3.5 uh, 7 uh, 8.5 so this should be a uh, 0.75 there we go and now all of our cards are going to show up right in the middle of the page it makes it a whole lot easier to cut these things out when we're all done so I'm going to go ahead and say OK and now we want to just make sure that all of our text stays inside of this blue area because the outside of this here is what's going to get cut and if you have large stacks of these, let's say you're printing 100 cards, so there's 10 cards per page, you're printing 10 pages, and you want to cut them all out at the same time on a hydraulic cutter like we do here in the print shop, uh, you want to have a little bit of space here. This is, you know, an eighth of an inch. Um, because you can end up with a variance of where the card got printed on the page by up to two to three millimeters depending on the printer. A home printer might be even more like four or five millimeters. Um, so you want to make sure that this right here is basically your print safe zone or your cut safe zone. So the next thing you're going to do is just jump over to the home tab. Once again, we're just putting together a simple card and you're going to drop in either one text box or several text boxes. And uh, right now I think I have my boundaries turned off. Let's turn those on so you can actually see the boundaries of the box that I put together. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and drop my information in real quick. All right, so as you can see, I've uh, just created uh, three different text boxes. I've got one for my name and title, one for my contact info, like my office phone number, my mobile, my email, and then one for the address. And when I go to print these out, so I'm going to hit Control P, I can see that it is now setting multiple cards up per page even though I've only designed one it just automatically sets them all up for me and that's because we punched in those layout options at the very beginning so now all I have to do is print it cut the page directly in half then reset my cutter to 3.5 and then cut off the white space on either of the ends over here I cut uh, a half inch off the top and then set the cutter to two inches and I can just chop, 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 
uh, or uh, chop right here and chop one more time and all of my cards come out the exact same size so that is the simple way to set up just a, a really simple business card inside of Microsoft Publisher in part two we're going to be taking a look at how to do something like this where we're getting a nice beautiful full bleed design that is a little bit more complex we don't get as many up per page but we will take a look at that in the next tutorial